Hi, I'm Rita Ernst. I'm an organizational psychologist, the author of two books, and the founder of the Show Up Positive Movement. And today I want to share with you my five ways every team leader can create the right environment to resolve conflicts. Here we go. Number one, make inviting disagreement one of your team norms. The problem with the word conflict resolution is conflict, right? It brings forward this emotional state, but most disagreement doesn't need to have this highly over intense emotional element present. And that definitely is dissuaded when you are practicing disagreement as a regular way of being in your team. So invite people Ask them, what are you not in agreement with? What else would you like to know more about? Really allow that conversation to emerge. Number two, give appreciation when people take you up on that offer. It is so important that you are reinforcing to people that they are not a problem child when they bring disagreement, but they are bringing a gift to the organization because we cannot have creativity and innovation if we only ever agree with one another. New ideas come from that disagreement. It is the sand and the oyster that really makes the pearl. So it's important that people know that it is not just lip service that they are allowed to disagree with others, but that it is really a valued skill in the team. Number three, Focus on the outcome and the content, especially when things start to get a little emotionally strong. Take people and personality out of it. You want to stay on the topic. We don't want to label people. We don't want to label ideas. We want this to be an open and inviting conversation where we are exploring and using our skills of curiosity. Anytime people start to divert into that land of labeling or attacking other people and individuals or talking about personality problems, that is the perfect time for you as a leader to redirect the conversation back. You don't even have to take it on head on, just redirect it back to outcome and content. Number four, integrate listening skills as one of your team norms as well. Listening is all about really staying focused and being curious to understand what others have to say. You know the Covey saying, seek first to understand and then be understood. That is the listening skill that I am talking about. When you make that a regular part of how you demonstrate your leadership, you are helping others to see the value of that as well. So invite people to get more curious. Give them examples of questions that show curiosity, such as, that's interesting. I never thought of it that way before. Tell me more about that. Small statements like this can really breed that curiosity that you need so that people are feeling triggered and getting emotional when there's a disagreement, but they are seeing the gift that it really is. And the last one, number five, most importantly for you as a leader, you've got to stay in the mindset that dissent and disagreement is an opportunity for greater alignment that will pay off down the road. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. So practice these five things. Make inviting disagreement a team norm, express appreciation when it's present, focus on the outcomes and the content, integrate listening and curiosity into everything you do, and hold on to that mindset that this is going to get you to the best possible place because it is going to expand the conversation and create alignment. If you do those five things, I guarantee you that you will have the right environment to allow healthy conflict to always be present in your team. Thanks for joining me today.